But like, we gonna get into the real when y'all come up over here, man. So put your big boy pants on when you come over there, folks. For real. Put your big boy pants on and we gonna get it to it straight like that, folks. But definitely hit that like button for the boy if you're here for a good time, not a long time. You ain't here to stay. Hit that mm. like button, man. Value Christ over your life, gang. What's good, man? What's good, what's good, what's good, man? I know I ain't been posting a lot. Um, man, I've been I've been seeking a lot of uh, wisdom to give, obviously. Because the more you show, you study to show thyself approved, the most high allows for you to, to take on more, you know, to be able to receive more, to give more. That's all he, you know, that's all our creator genuinely, you know, uh, wants us to understand that when he gives us something, it isn't for us to harbor it. It's for us to understand what it is he gives to um, make it uh, uh, our duty to understand life to further give wisdom to help one's life. So, man, when I say put your big boy pants on in the beginning of my videos, man, that means because the world is, is teaching us to uh, uh, grab and go, um, get quick, get quick. You know, it. Basically, what I'm trying to say is it, it brings us to a point of our attention spans are low. If it's not screaming, shouting, if it's not, if it seems boring, Satan can seduce your flesh because you have not killed your flesh enough. And this is why he tells us to fast and to do things, because if you don't know what it's like to actually kill your flesh, you will click on the video. And because it's not jumpy, because it's not me hollering or screaming about uh, 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 our, our males, uh, you know, our counterparts, our brethren, you'll click off because you have not killed your flesh enough, man. I, I just want to say if you are a mother out there and you have a young black male, you are a father, you have a young black male and you just can't reach to them. You understand that what's going on is bigger than what your son may see. Send them to my page. And it's not to see me, but anything that is in me is from him. It ain't for me. What like just just pay attention to many people see me on it. I do this all day. I speak to people for free all day. Many people try to come out of their pockets to pay me for prayer. Come out, come out of their pockets to pay me for this, pay me for that. In no form or fashion will I be like those in a den of thieves. Christ called those people den of thieves. They was in the church selling things that should be given away for free. Because that's what the enemy does. He gives things with strings attached. So if I give you this, I need something. But what Christ was given, he was given for free. His wage was that people wouldn't tell what it was that he did. So yeah, man, I just hope y'all put y'all big boy pants on. Because even this short two minutes, people will click off for. But don't, I'm telling you, if you don't get the uh, uh, beating your flesh down in control, Satan will literally uh, win you over because... You don't know how to sit put and to listen to things that might not be easy for you to listen to. But how will you ever grow if you always continue to listen to the same thing? You know, if you just got the appetite for, for the things and you see no growth in your life, maybe it's because of the atmosphere. Maybe because it's because of the mental atmosphere and the blockages that you put up to not furthering yourself. And most times it's not us. It's the deceit from the world. And we don't know that we're being deceived. Even by your fleshly pleasures, you are being deceived. That's why you have to kill the flesh. It is critical to kill your flesh. But I'll get right into it, man. I, I had to get that out of the way, man. And Dr. Umar, you know, before we even get solely on to the Dr. Umar, I got, I got, I got a brain of sword because many people don't know how to use it. And Holy Father, I just, you know, Holy Spirit, Holy, Holy, uh, Holy art thou. The, the one true set apart is that spirit because it sets you apart from the world and what your flesh want to do. You feel me? That's It's just set apart like the Holy Spirit. It's just set apart. It's set apart from your flesh. That's why it don't eat the same. It eat this word. You feel me? And you got to get into it. But uh, just pertaining to being judged because I know people going to be like, you judging him. You're doing something that the most I told us not to. When you don't even read, you don't even see. So he's not actually giving to you what it is. Before I even read the judged. I guess I should read this one first. Give me a second. And I posted this on my, uh, on my, um, I guess this one might come a little better. This is Thessalonians, second Thessalonians chapter two, 10, 10 and 11. It says, and I'm gonna read 12 as well. And with all the deceivableness of unrighteous in them that perish, they're talking about a people who will perish. They got deceivableness in them, unrighteousness in them. 
And he said, because they receive not the love of the truth, which is this word. Understand, this is the love of the truth. His word is love and his word is truth. That they might be saved. By this word, you will be saved. He said, and for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. This is nothing to just read over or to hear and not to solely really pay attention to hearing that. Did you not just hear that? Because they believe not the love of the truth. The God of our world shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. How many of y'all don't believe in the book? How many of y'all probably when you heard me just speak on that right there, you stopped and was like, no, nah, bro, he will send you a strong delusion. So that you could believe a lie. Why is that? Because he's not going to he's not going to be uh, uh, come searching for those and doing more for those than you are even trying to do for yourself through him. Because you can't do nothing for you. Nothing is possible with man. But through God, all things are possible. Period. This, these are just the facts that most people don't want to um, believe in. So he'll send you a strong lie. And that way you never actually navigate through life. You stay stagnant. You stay with the same default friends that bring you lower and lower. Because Satan don't need to, to do nothing with y'all. He just needs to keep you surrounded. He just needs your atmosphere with those who are just like you. When you hang with those just like you and it's none who's trying to grow in Christ. Because if you're not growing in Christ, you're not growing at all. If you're just growing in the world, that's the world. And what would the... Heaven and earth will pass away, which is this world, he said, but not his word, he said. So I just hope y'all hearing and understanding, but it says, um, it says that they all might be, wait, let me go on. And for this cause, God should send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who beneath believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So when I'm reading this word, many people could come up and they could tell me, they could just laugh. They could want to troll, talk about something that ain't even of the topic. It's because their hearts are hard and the, the most high sent them down strong delusions so that they will believe a lie. So that they will believe that it is better for them to come on some somebody pouring out their spirit into them and to just joke on them. To crack jokes, to talk about whatever flaws you might see in them or, or whatever. Anything that is uh, truthfully vain that they grow not from, that I grow not from, they'll do it. You feel me? But this is true. Many people cannot believe what's in the book because... In our hearts, or maybe it was your forefathers. Understand that the sins of a father passed down. Your father could have uh, 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 been one who didn't believe. And because he didn't believe, you think that in the book it says, from wicked go forth wickedness. So if you're not wicked, show yourself approved. You feel me? It's, a lot of this stuff can be broken. We are literally still receiving a backlash from our forefathers way long ago. That's how we went into slavery. That's why we're still in slavery. That's why we in slavery and don't know we enslaved. You feel me? But let me go on to the judge not and be judged because, you know, obviously I'm talking a lot before I get into Dr. Omar, but it's all for good purposes. So if you can't hone in and to listen to something that's actually true or substance and to see somebody actually, I'm coming for y'all souls, y'all fleshly, all of my, all of our flesh will perish. All of the flesh will go back to the dirt that, that we was created from. But your soul, your soul got somewhere to go after this. And it could be someone like a Dr. Umar that you put your, 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 your salvation in. Many of us, we give our salvation to those who we watch but don't understand is that they are uh, uh, the, 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 the man who will make doctrines out of the son of man. Out of the son of God, which is Christ. He's the son of man and the son of God. But they will make doctrines, their own doctrines. He came with a doctrine and they will take what they like and what they don't like. They put it away. And But he goes against everything of this world. All the traditions, all the things that we love, all the things that we was taught to love. He goes against all of it. But judge and be not judged. I, I, I got to say this because people don't always tell me, why are you talking about people? Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye mete, it shall be measured to you. So that's telling you basically, man, when you go and you judge somebody, understanding that you judging them on uh, 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 they sexual doings, the most high going to judge you about your sexual doings. If you judging them about the hate in their heart, he going to look at your heart. Is there any hate in your heart? So most of the things that I preach on, I make sure that I, I, I that it ain't no inequity nowhere near in my heart. Maybe I, my passion might seem like hate, but... If I'm bringing out the sword for reproach, it's not hate. Because if I don't love you, or if you think that I hate you, I would solely really just uh, uh, not tell you the things of the Bible. Why would I give you what I give, uh, uh, what I put into my life, and what I know is to be true? So if I wanted people to believe 
a lie and I hated people, I would never speak the word. I would just keep that precious thing to myself so that folks won't even be able to uh, even get around to it. Like the most high, he do, he does, he literally say he will send out a strong delusion. What is a delusion? Something that is, uh, 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 um, you know, confusing you on the truth. Something that is keeping you away from the truth that you believe in. It's a, a, a distraction. You feel me? I'm coming with y'all with the truth, no distraction. So to the Dr. Umar, man, understand, and I'm sorry that you had to wait 10 minutes to get into it, but understand that, man, people like him, that anybody who is rooting in anything, Black Lives Matter, uh, White Lives any anybody that's creating a group where they are uh, dividing people, where they're not including everybody, no, the most high, I'm not saying that he can't live in them, but right now, that tree, it don't bear his fruit. So we got to always understand that, uh, um, that in the book it says, because I wanted to read on just a slightly more because I know about the moat. And look, and it said, why and why is behold is the moat in thy brother's eye, but consider it's not the beam that is thine own eye. And let me just break that down to y'all for those who really don't even understand that. That a moat is something small. A beam is something very large. And it's in the sense of what y'all doing right now. How, and let me just say, I don't have a moat in my eye. I don't have not a mo I don't have a beam in my eye because that would make me the person with the with the beam, and I'm talking about somebody with a moat. But reverse it and understand how, if you are sitting back and you're looking at me and you're judging me for what I'm doing, the beam might be you worship false gods. The uh, and the moat you might be that you look at my life and you see me talking about someone else. But you don't understand that you have a beam in your eye is that you don't even follow the laws of God. You don't even strive to keep the way. You feel me? I hope that it's, this is understanding, but it's understanding to me. A moat is something small. A beam is something large. So while I might be seeing like I'm judging someone to, to all of y'all understanding that I understand his word. I understand what takes to get to his word. And and if. It, and, and if we was, and if there wasn't any righteous, ju righteous judgment, why would he say in this book? Um, where is it? Give me a second. And it says, "Ye shall know them by their fruits. Ye shall know them by their fruits." So to know something by their fruit means you have to look at it and you have to make a judgment and see what fruits it have. Yes or no? Understandable. And so now that I got that all through. It's a Dr. Umar. How does he benefit most of really just to be frank? He's just a controversial uh, in a way. I believe he could be a puppet. Do y'all understand that the people who control the world, they understand the Bible and they also understand the laws of the Bible. They also uh, um, the thing is because they operate and they operate for Satan. So Satan can reveal just like he did generations and generations ago, the understanding of knowledge of good and evil the thing is we as those who he can manipulate don't know how far the evil runs and we don't know how far the good can run for the most high so much that he gotta let evil do what it does so he can give evil his righteous judgment like i'm trying to do now but the thing is you just keep getting people who use words and find words and find uh um, bible scriptures and they use them out of context because that's what the world done time and time and time again but to get solely on Dr. Umar, I know, but this whole, this is bigger than a Dr. Umar. What is being done today? Yeah, the video cut off, but it's bigger than all of that. It's bigger than all of that, and we need to understand in the time that we're living in. And how a Dr. Umar, who always preaching on black hate, I mean, not black hate, but uh, 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 white this, white that, a black man shouldn't do that, bro. Who told you this? Who told you this? What doctrine is it? He's running along with the, not just the doctrine, he's running along with the heart. That man, most men would have, and it could be the strong delusion that the most high was seeing. And that delusion is that these dudes, because what's been happening to us and what continues to happen to today, they didn't seek out the most high's answer. So now they created their own and theirs to hate white. And, 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 and it's either you either hate them or you keep talking about them so much because you really wish that you could be with the white woman. And it's just like certain dudes that when they continuously talk about the homosexual people and don't understand that they can still be saved too because no sin is greater than the other. It's, you might like the homosexual 
people. Because why do you keep going to bat with them? Why do you keep going at them and going hard on them? And it's many other things that the Bible talk about, but people just, they stay on one thing. They stay on one route. So as if you keep uh, um, preaching on that or preaching on or talking about one single thing, it's either you want it or you hate it. There could only be two, you want or you hate. So regardless of, of all that, y'all should understand that they could literally, uh, the, those higher up, they will pay somebody like a Dr. Umar to do what he does because they know if they can have you die with any hate in your heart against anyone in the world, that the most high, told, he tell us that, to love your enemy. So even if you hate your enemy, you're not getting Yeah, man, uh, video keep cutting out. No coincidence. We know who run the, uh, the air. You can't get it out of me today. We go there, man, for real. But look, if you don't love your enemy, you got hate in your heart for your enemy when you die, man. You might be going to you might be going to those 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 fiery fiery gates. You feel me? That, that, you ain't gonna see the gold gates. You are gonna see that other one that that fire and brimstone because you love you you did not love the truth enough. To even, not even love it. You didn't even care enough to hear that so many people said two-thirds perish for a lack of knowledge. And if two-thirds, that's that's the majority of all. So if you say a majority of all the world perish for a, a lack of knowledge, and all that must mean that the majority of all them who will perish, they got to all kind of look alike. They got to kind of all uh, uh, operate the same. Right? Right? Or no, or grow, man. Please continue to grow. But a Dr. Umar, man, he is every little bit of, 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 of a callous to, to the Hebrew man's growth like no other because we don't need nobody putting hay. We call it to be the salt of the earth. I'm talking about giving it its flavor. So that means loving even when we hate it. And it's not hard. I mean, it's not easy, especially when we've been beat. When we've been beat so much that we're not, we don't even know the, 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 the light we carry. We don't even know the good that's in us because... The new us that's created in this world is anger. Many of us, myself, for time and time again, I had anger be the at the, the forefront of, of, of who you think about when you think about Jamal. And in our hoods and where we come from, because we've all, you know, we feel the, the same hate that our forefathers, we're not actually being met with it, but we still feel it. It's still an atmosphere of hate for the Hebrew man, regardless of if they come in and doing it with white mask on. We still feel it. You feel me? And so uh, uh, our defensive me mechanism that we built for ourselves was to be angry, was to go get them before they get us. You feel me? And no longer can we do it because they don't set you apart. The most I told us not to fight evil with evil. And for somebody that always done that in their life, it's not easy to do, but he gonna fight your battles for you. Understand that if you let go and do what he told you to do, now he gotta come fight for you. Cause you listen and you moved by faith. You, man, it's so powerful when you do what he say do cause you don't see the fight that he's doing. He spoke about it how, uh, and uh, what, what, what is it, what is it, what is it? Um, I, forget it, I ain't gonna even say that. When we come with it, we come, but. You know, he just speaks of, the, of of what he does and how man won't believe it, in a sense. And but y'all gotta believe, y'all. In this time where things are about to get exponentially worse, and none of us can, you ain't gonna know it's about to be worse until it's worse. So we need to pay not attention to those who are just in vain. You might think the music, you might think watching Dr. Umar help you grow if he's not breaking out scripture, telling you how to stay at mist, stay above the water. When this, uh, when this, uh, when this, when this, when it's terrible and it's strange, um, you know, uh, whatever come, you feel me? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Not trying to look, sound so cool, but when the, when the, when the adversities come that we was sure of, but we heard of all this time that you spend watching, having fun, giggling and laughing, you should have been preparing your sword. You should have been preparing to fight because your sword is what's going to go out and fight for you when it's not going to be a physical sword. But it's something, again, that will never perish. His sword, our sword, is his word. And that word that we speak, when we speak it, we put him out to battle for us. 
Because he said, my word, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall live forever. So when we speak his word, we speak to him to go fight. We put him out on a, come on, he is a server, and we don't understand it. But yeah, man, not to take up too much too much more of y'all time, but uh, 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 we need to understand that Dr. Umar, and with all his laughs, and this uh, jokes about the, the, the white race, and I don't know who told, who died and made you king, and who uh, uh, told you that we needed to only solely date the, the black woman, and why you can't date and love who you want to love. Why you can't um, be a Hebrew man and, 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 and bring somebody on in to that grafted tree that, you know, other, why does it matter? Again, man, when people be going so solely, obviously, the world pay him for this. There's a bunch of ignorant um, just quite frank, black people are ignorant. Our knowledge is ignorance, which is truly we have no knowledge. I used to be there running around emotional as a man should never be thinking, you know, it all thinking, but you don't know nothing. You just want to be this. Come on, man. We need to go to the source and not go to those who are, you know, being puppets. They being puppets. Like I say, he might be in, he might be someone who they pay to do what he do because like they pay the rappers to do what they do. And they deceive our minds with all the deceivableness in them, with all the unrighteous, because all our music is unrighteous. All of the people that be deceived and, and everything be in them that be unrighteous because they ain't loving all. They can't love people that ain't them. They can't love people that's not of their flock. But God loves all. He, come on, man. We got to, we really got to, uh, we got to do better, man. Y'all got to kick up the prayer, man. I hope y'all share this video. Please share this video because people in like Dr. Umar and those uh, operating in the same spirit of him, we need to talk about it. And y'all need to come from out of the filth. Don't get on the video. Get to just going in when you ain't listening. That's what ignorance does. Watch how his followers who are ignorant that don't hear nothing, but they just they idolizers, they idolaters. They know not how to. Uh, 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 they know not the love of God. Not only do they know not the love of God. They know not the understanding. They have no, uh, uh, they have, the, they don't have the discernment to look at people who might have platforms and to discern what spirit they operate in. They just see the numbers. They just see the laughs, the giggles, and they see the light because a lot of Judah got light. Dr. Umar has a light, but Satan will use that light and put, use it in a perverted way because we don't know what the light was, was supposed to be. The light supposed to be used for this. Not rapping, dancing, singing, on the fields, playing around, jumping up. Yo, light was to be what, we, what to be who he was. That's why he, he, gave, he gave you a blessing. Yeah, you could do all those things, but at the end of the day, if you're not turning around, showing him who gave you the light, speaking on his truth, then you use your light for not his, for, for the light, the greater for his uh, kingdom. You ain't shining a light on his kingdom. You shine a light on what kingdom then? Because if you're not lifting up God, and there's only God and Satan in a the way, then who you lifting up? Come on, man. Value Christ over your life, man.